All right, so I know it's been a while since I covered, um, you know, anything pretty much. The last one, the last video that I did was last month, which was Sabotage the Death of Chris Alive, Examine Legito Hoax. And uh, yeah, I did this one uh, two weeks ago, but it was just a recommendation video. You know, I just covered um, Godly Music. And uh, if you haven't checked it out, definitely make sure to check it out. But I do remember I said I wanted to cover something, you know, um, throughout the holidays. I just got sick the last four or five, yeah, about five days before Christmas that last week. And uh, I had to take some time off work, really, because I was sick, really sick. And then uh, I just got kind of lazy, you know, throughout the holidays. Now, Christmas, I'm feeling much better. Um, I've been doing well for a week now. And so I figured, you know what, um, I might as well cover something. I really did not know what. And then it hit me the lat, um, on Thursday. I um, we streamed Devil Possession Masters Multiple Personality Disorder, and there was a man that was a policeman who you know is devil possessed. Basically, he has this multiple personality or dissociative uh, dissociative um, identity. I think they call it now dissociative uh, identity disorder. And um, he had a military background, and I'm like, hmm, you know, it sounds. Pretty much like MK Ultra and stuff like that, and I figured, you know what? Um, we've been talking with some of the people in my comment section. You know, some of you guys that showed up for uh, the premiere, writing about um, police being connected to, you know, um, you know, a lot of cops being, you know, uh, devil possessed and you know have this problem, or um, how many cops are actually connected to. Um, Freemasonry and I figured you know what I'm gonna cover that today and so I decided to do that instead and I really felt the Lord led me to look at a little bit deeper into it because pretty much everybody has everyone has seen this the patches I actually have it in my folder I have more of them uh, which is these uh, you know Freemasonic police patches you got the Colorado State Patrol the Connecticut State Police State of Hawaii Public Safety Police, Illinois State Police, Iowa State Patrol, Georgia State Patrol, Highway Patrol, Delaware State Police, and so on and so forth, right? Alabama. And so I found this article on LinkedIn, actually. It's a short article, but then as I was looking a little bit uh, deeper, I found actually the website where it's from. We're going to finish the article over there, but I just kind of felt like, you know, Reading a little bit about this, and we're gonna, as always, uh, expand a little bit on it. And I will, you know, give my few cents, and that will be it. And I hope that this will be a blessing to you. So let's, um, let's, let's dig in immediately. The relationship between law enforcement and Freemasonry is irrefutable. The relationship between sworn law enforcement personnel and the lodge is a subject matter that is very rarely discussed in any circle. As secretive as the Freemasons' Lodge is, the world of law enforcement is equally and arguably more secretive in the totality, scope, and poor nature. Understanding the fact that Freemasonry is an oath-based secretive society that relies totally on all of its initiates to conceal all of the many secrets afforded to them, why would any sworn law enforcement official be allowed to become a member of a Masonic Lodge? Each and every law enforcement official is already duly sworn to protect and serve their respective communities, colonies, villages, parishes, um, cities, boroughs, or states. Being a member of law enforcement and a member of a Masonic Lodge is certainly a monolithic conflict of interest when it comes to the daily duties of a law enforcement official. Police and Masonry walk hand in hand. Just as each and every law enforcement official has to uphold their oaths to protect and serve, they must also uphold the oaths that they took within their respective lodges. What if the lodge oaths of law enforcement personnel directly conflict with the charges of their law enforcement duties? Understanding the fact that these closed societies take care of their own, it is, is it safe to say that many police officers who are also Freemasons are free to walk above the law? Do you know anyone who is a police officer and a Freemason, or are you currently serving your respective communities a police officer while also a member of Masonic and right down under here it has the website they posted the website um, and so I checked it out and I found this exact same article on there um, and it has it gives a little bit more information and it shows a little bit more of these badges as well 
you know, some of these police badges and whatnot. So this is on truthislight.com. Police and Freemasonry, the irrefutable connection. As you can see, this is an article from May 7, 2014. It is a little bit dated, but the information is spot on on here. And then it says here, right, we just read that. Do you know anyone who's a police officer in Freemason? Are you currently serving your respective community as a police officer while also being a member of the Masonic Lodge? So I think that was the, yeah. That was the last sentence in that article. And then it shows right here, the following police patches are sworn by police and government officials for Freemasons. So we saw these ones. And we got these ones right here. Let me see if this actually opens. Yep. So we have here Metropolitan Police, Philadelphia Police, Los Angeles Police. The Dallas Police Department, the Houston Police Department, um, the Fire Department of the City of New York, Sunbury Police, Boston Police, Philadelphia Police again, and Police Department of City of New York. Again, you can see all of the um, symbolism right here with the G and the square and the compass and so on and so forth. Let's go back to the article. Um... Let me just close this. I don't think we will need that anymore. Let's see some of these. Uh, um, we have the Fraternal Order of Police, right? Freemasons, FOP. We're going to look into that as well. We got the Freemason State Trooper, Prince Hall, Masonic Police, Maryland, Shield and Square Club. Wow, well, can't make it up here. We got Police Canada as well. And Masonic Posse. Deputy Sheriff, right there. Let's continue looking at some of these down here. There is more pictures. So we have New Mexico State Police, New York State Police, North Carolina Highway Patrol, North Dakota Highway Patrol, Oklahoma Highway Patrol, Oregon State Police, um, Ohio State Highway Patrol. Pennsylvania, State Police, Masonic, South Carolina, West Virginia, and you can see all of it. Right here you have the star, right? South Dakota right here as well, right? Here you have the pillars as well. You got the flags, right? You got the, um, you know, the Masonic White House building, right? This is Rhode Island State Police, Texas Rangers. All that kind of garbage. And they have more. You don't have to take a look at all of them, but pretty much all of them have this train of compass on. And then you have the Fraternal Order of the Police. Now, what? why is this so important? Let's take a look. FOP, right? It's always the star inside of a circle. Now, we already know the um, circle symbolism. Circle, the sun disk, the sacred hoop. Ring, an ancient and universal symbol of unity, wholeness, infinity, the idolized female power in the sun. To earth centered religions throughout history, as well as to many contemporary pagans, it represents the feminine spirit of force, cosmic spiritualized mother, earth, and a sacred space. Gnostic traditions link the unbroken uh, circle to the world serpent, forming a circle as, it's e as it eats its own tail. So, we know that they feel like they are protected inside a circle. What do we have here? We got the black and white, the um, checkerboard, right? Um, what else? We got the um, one eye symbolism right here and the handshake, okay? And yeah, I could look at some of these other things as well, but it's really not needed because, I mean, this is pretty, pretty much self-explanatory. And then, as well, you have Church of Satan Star. As you can see, the star, the Baphomet Church of Satan, the um, Star of Mendez, the same star as on the flag of the Church of Satan, is right here, except it's turned upside down. But nevertheless, it's that five-pointed pentagram, okay? It's the same thing as in Wicca, as in witchcraft. 
as in here, and so on and so forth. So, what else do we have here? 9-11, the emergency dispatcher. We've got the symbolism right here. And also the 9-11 as well, symbolism, you know, with the 9-11. <laughs> Customs and Border, um, Freemason Protection. We got a National Transportation Safety Board. So we have the National Transportation Safety Board. As you can see right here. Then we have Homeland Security, or as I like to call it, Homeland Security, because it's all run by the Vatican anyway, and the Jesuit order. But that's another video for another day. As you can see, again, it's inside the circle. It has the um, you know square and compass symbolism right on there as well. The LAPD Masonic Degree Team, right here, Police Department, LAPD Police Department, right? Pennsylvania State Masonic, uh, Police Masonic, right? We have the following fraternal organizations are closely associated within the laws of Freemasonry. The Daughters of Isis. Then we have, again, we have the star. Same star as the Church of Satan, right? That same Baphomet, the sigil of Baphomet, right? Right there on the order of the Eastern Star. We've got the Timole International Order. The Sigma Pi Phi Fraternity, or also called the Bole Society. The following badges are from top secret military government PSYOP missions. These badges also contain a lot of Masonic symbolism. None of your effing business. I wish I was joking here, but I'm really serious, right? We have the Delta 352 badge. You get the L. I think L is 3. Um, and then you have the 49, which is 13, okay? Delta 352, you have the 3 and the 5 and the 2. The 5 and 2 equals 7 times 3 is 777. Seven, seven. And again, you have Crowley right here, 777, seven, seven. and other Kabbalistic writings of Alistair Crowley. It's one of his books. So you got the 777 seven, seven symbolism as well right there. Let's see what else we got. Um, let's take a look here. Now, I'm not too much of a gematria guy, but I do use um, the numerology calculator, which is just basic numerology, you know, to prove, uh, you know, so you can check up, you know, certain names or organizations and check into, into the numbers a little bit. I do use it at times. I've been using it for years. And uh, most of the time, just to take a look at the 33 connections, what I believe is very um interesting here is that police is actually 33 if you see right here you can check the numerology in pythagorean numerology or Chaldi numerology and have here right right here the 33 for the police let's see another um 33 reference let's take a look at alex jones right there you get the 33 okay and all of these people these fake truthers. Let's take a look at Glenn Beck. Glenn Beck is... Oh, sorry. I forgot to add another N there. There you go. We have Glenn Beck is 33. The L is 3. And you get the 49. 4 and 9 is 13. Let's take a look at Delta. 3, 5, 2. You can see the numbers. It's number nine right here. Let's see. Chaldean is 25 or 7. But you get the number 6 here in total. Vowels, consonants 9. So you get your 697 as well. It has different numbers. And they all mean something to Freemasons as we know. Now, let's continue. Um, We got... 
Melior Diabolus, Diabolus Quem Cies. This is um, NS, uh, NASA mission badge. Translation, better the devil you know. Get your kicks on 66. You got the um, globe model here, right? Um, Route 66, right? Obviously, four sixes. Three is all you need to get you 666. You got the devil symbolism right here. Well, the bull, which is Baal, as it says here, the Minotaur and RO spy satellite mission badge. This one I found always interesting i saw this one before somebody else exposed it before nunquam ante nunquam iterum which means never before never again mission unknown and you get the three snake heads and the three stars right up here the three blue stars three snake heads you get your 33 three snake heads and three stars let's see what else we got here beckoned enterprise right here you get your Anuit, Oak, Coaptis, whatever you read that. Another NASA space mission. Let's take a look at NROL 32. Okay. 10, 18, 6, 13, 18, 6. We get the total here is 13. It's under 34, but it's 13, okay? And all um, combinations work because they are obsessed with numerology. So it doesn't always have to be a 33 or some other famous 36 or 39 or 44. No, it can just be here. Play. It can be 13, for example. I think CIA is 13. I checked that before. Right here, you get CIA is 13. And of course, 13 times 3 is 39. You get your 999. Nine, nine. Again, you have the total 213. 3 and 1 and 2 is 33. 1 and 2 is 3, and you get your 3 here. So you get dual meaning. You get 33, and you get your 13 here as well. So you get your 3, 3, and your 13. Again, you can. Take the charts online and look at them for yourself. So you can just uh, count it by yourself or run it through the calculator. I just run it here. It's just easier. You got three consonants, three, three. That's the total, right? Again, 33. Okay. Let's see what else they got here. To serve man, Gustavus, Gustatus Similis Pulis, whatever that is. Okay. And you got the alien garbage, right? You got the pitchfork. USAF 509th Bomb Wing B2 Spirit Stealth Bomber Patch. Tastes like chicken. Wow. Can't make it up, huh? And again, you got the crescent moon and the stars. 14 Vigilance Flight Test Team, okay? Technology Observation Platform USAF Flight Test Team. Um, Stealth Chile Awake. That's the translation of that garbage. Again, you have more death here. With the skull and crossbones and these silly rockets here. Global engagement, military space plane technology program. Okay, what else we got here? Testum Pontius Veratis. Electronic Warfare Directorate. Again, you get the pitchfork right here. Right? You get the pitchfork. Pitch fork. And we can see that the pitchfork is 15, which equals 6, because 1 and 5 is 6. 52 equals 7. But the consonants are 37. So basically, you get your 7, 7, 7, 37 as well. All these numbers matter in, um, in uh, Freemasonry. So you can look pretty much everything here. The total... All of these um, um, combinations work. They all matter to them. Anyway, let's continue. That was it, pretty much. Uh, I have not really checked this blog, although I will link it. I will link 
the link to this article. I don't know anything else about this blog. I just came across it. I don't know, so I can't really recommend it, but I can recommend definitely this article. I'm going to link it in the description, well, in the comment section. Um, now let's take a look at the Fraternal Order of Police here. The Fraternal Order of Police is a fraternal organization consisting of sworn law enforcement officers in the United States. It reports a membership of over um, 355,000 members organized in 2,100 local chapters, lots, state lodges. What you get here, you get to 33 right there. 5 and 5 is 10 plus 3 is 13 and 2,100 is 3. You get the 3 from the 2,100 and the 3 from the um, 13, you get your 33. It's all done by design. Now, if you look at the members right here, 3,700 and 3,000 members, uh, 37, 000, sorry, 373,000 members. Yeah, as of 2023. And again, um, 37 is 777, and you get your 777, and you also get your 33 right there in plain sight. So again, um, the organization attempts to improve the working conditions of law enforcement officers and the safety of those that they serve through education, legislation, information, community involvement, and employee representation. Uh, sorry, and the safety of those they serve through education, legislation, and so on. So it says here, uh, FOP subordinate lodges may be police unions and or fraternal organizations as the FOP has both labor lodges and fraternal lodges and describes itself as a full service member representation organization. It lobbies Congress and regulatory, agency and regulatory agencies on behalf of law enforcement officers, provides labor representation, promotes legal defense for offices and offers uh, resources such as legal research. Okay. organization and membership the fraternal order of police auxiliary is the auxiliary organization of the fop for family members of fop members it was formed by a group of wives of pittsburgh police officers in 1920 again you get your 999 two plus one is three times nine is 999 which is an upside down 666 and Catherine m milton became the first national president as 1941 in 1941 as the fraternal order of police ladies auxiliary it reports over 2,000 members in 140 auxiliaries in 25 states in 85 males all older than 18 were admitted for the first time in 87 the current name was adopted dropping the term ladies um the fraternal order of police associates um, is a civilian affiliate organization is made up of FOP supporters, not eligible for membership. Its members include friends and family, family members, business people, professionals, and other citizens. It's a 501c3 tax exempt organization, just like most of the mainstream churches out there, which means they are run by the government. So make sure that if you actually attend the church, that it's not 501c3, but again, that's another video for another day. We have here the political advocacy. Oh, here we go. September 16, 2016, the FOP endorsed Republican Party candidate Donald Trump for U.S. president. Of course, that's how you know it's fake. All of these people are fake. This endorsement was opposed by blacks and law enforcement of America. Why? Well, because they have to create... The black and white, right? The race card, right? You have to have the um, Hegelian dialectic out of order comes chaos, right? They just want you to, you know, pick or choose a side, right? So they have to do that. We're not reflecting the will of membership. And it goes Trump again on September 4th, 2020. Again, you see the September 4th. September is the ninth month of the year. Nine times four, or not, uh, sorry, nine times four. Well, it works both ways. Nine times four is 36, which is 666. And 9 plus 4 is 13. So you get your 666 and you get your 13. They love these numbers. They love the um, 
dates and uh, again I know there are channels just to make myself clear I do not endorse nor practice gematria because it's witchcraft okay it's a form of Kabbalah and I don't do that there are truth channels out there take it too far to go too deep with calculations and all of these things I do not even know how to do that I just use the basic numerology calculator where I can type in police and see that it's 33 and I can see a little bit of these numbers combinations because I looked at it I've been looking at it for years now but I never dug deep into the gematria thing I do not even know how to do it and you know I'm very you know I, I flunk math pretty much in school all the time so I'm not that good with numbers but again I do not and I do not um, recommend anybody going into that you know um, you should use discernment with all these things but again you can use the calculator to see these dates and count and so on and so forth and that way you can also tell that it's all garbage because again they have everything is coded Rodney is 36 right here they mentioned Rodney King incident right which is fabricated as well and you get your Rodney is in Chaldean numerology 3, 6, 3, you get your 12 in consonants, 12 in totals, that's your 33, and Rodney is 24, which is 6, you get your 33, okay, 6, 3, 3, you get your double, 6, 6, 6, because 6 times 3 is 18, and that is 6, 6, 6, and here as well, because of the dual tree, uh, dual threes, and... Also here, the total is 66. 66 divided by 2 is 33. Now let's take a look at Rodney King. The consonants, the total is 39. You get your 999. This is why they love this. The totals of Rodney King in, um, what is this, Chaldean numerology is 13. Right? And you get your 484. And again, you get your 7 and 10 is 17 plus 3 is 20, but you get your 30, which is 10 times 3 is 30. Also, 3 plus 10 is 13, but 7 times 3 is 777, seven, seven, because 7 plus 7 plus 7 is 21, you get your 777. Seven, seven. It's all right there in plain sight, and so you can use it a little bit to make your research easier and then there are controversies again here the FOP was under scrutiny from the public in part because of Rodney, the Rodney King incident which that was all just another you know um, race card issue thing we already know that this, 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 this was all garbage and Dewey Stokes the FOP president at the time contextualized the incident by saying you have to put things in proper perspective these are not common occurrences. They are the result of stress on the job, emphasis on the system, the criminal, not the victim, and the media's exploitation of the negatives of law enforcement. It's already been proven a big sham and a hoax. And I'm not saying it didn't happen, but uh, it was definitely planned. Anyway, I think this pretty much concludes the video. Um, I just wanted to actually check fraternal order of police just to make sure fraternal order of police and if you look at it you get your 39 which is 999 you get your complete total here is 93 as well 3993 is the same so you get your 33 and your 9 which is a very important number as well in Freemasonry that is okay and if we look at Chaldean it's very similar numbers. You get your 44, which is a big Masonic number. You get your 33 here in the consonants, right? 119 right here, which is your 911. And here you have your 3. Okay? Right there. Take a look at FOP, you get your 13, right? And here the total is 1, 2, 3. 1 and 2 is 
3, you get your 3 down here, you get your 33. Okay, and it's the same in both, in Chaldean and Pyth 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 uh, Pythagorean numerology, again, it's the same thing. You get your 33, it's the same result, basically. Anyway, I kind of wanted to close, um, you know, I wanted to, this to be the last video of this year. Uh, again, I hope this video will be a blessing to you. Uh, I'm also um, letting you know that, you know, I'm back to work, obviously, on the 3rd. Um, well, I am off until the 3rd. Uh, and I will, you know, everything's pretty much as, you know, usual. We're going to have the Thursday premieres, and I'm going to try to cover at least one video every two weeks. Um, make sure you check this video if you haven't devil possession masked as multiple personality disorder is a good documentary um you'll enjoy it if you haven't checked it out check it out please and uh, also this one godly music recommendations if you're looking for some godly music uh you know subscriber client asked me to you know to recommend some stuff so i you know decided i'm gonna i'm gonna you know address it in the video and anyway i hope that this was a blessing to you i hope it is a blessing to you and um yeah, I hope that you all have a blessed new year. See you guys next Thursday. God bless.